What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, Biggie versus Bobby Lashley was uh, very enjoyable for Monday Night Raw. That's really the only thing I really cared about on Monday Night Raw. And um, I did watch the match they had at the beginning of the show. And I watched the match they had in the steel cage at the end of the show. Um, to me, Raw is still too long. Two hours would be the perfect sweet spot for Raw. Three hour show is just too much to even try to consume when it comes to watching wrestling on a weekly basis. So uh, I watched the beginning of uh, the show with them starting off the show, which was smart for them to do. Crowd is hot. Um, and the match was actually quite enjoyable. And it got even better when they brought out Cedric Alexander and Bill, uh, Sheldon Benjamin, and they had their, their Hurt Business tees on. And they didn't interfere in the match immediately. You can see Bobby Lashley pretty uh, excited about it. He was smiling. I'm like, yo, it looks like the Hurt Business is back in business, man. And I, I never understood why they split them up in the first place. I should have kept them a team. They should have kept them a nice little faction. And... Uh, Hopefully, they do keep them together, and we can see some interesting storylines going on in the future, man. Um, Raw needs all the teams they can get, all the tag teams, all the factions they could possibly get. So, hey, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I definitely was uh, hyped about that. Of course, uh, Kofi and uh, Xavier Woods come out, and they, they all brawl, which causes the match to end in a DQ. And uh, um, they end up re uh, announcing that they're going to restart the match, but it's going to be in a steel cage at the end of the show to keep people watching. And uh, yeah, I didn't watch the rest of the show. I was just, you know, I just watched it, uh, watched that match, and then watched the the um, the last match or whatnot. Um, and when they started off the uh, steel cage match. Um, of course, he'll like tactics. Bobby Lashley attacks um, Big E before he even gets inside the steel cage. And they had another solid match within the steel cage. This this match alone, definitely, I'm pretty sure, didn't see the rest of, the uh, rest of Raw, definitely probably enhanced the show. The crowd was into it. It was enjoyable. I was enjoying it for what it was. Very hard hitting. These guys worked pretty well together. Um, and it's cool to see the WWE Championship in a in a nice little program. Granted, Bobby Lashley has been doing his thing, you know, trying to bring some prestige to that belt. And, uh, you know, I've been loving what he was doing as champion. But it's cool to see Big E get his shot at really carrying Raw on his back. And um, the right person won here with a nice ending um, a Big E sets up Bobby Lashley on the second rope and hits a big ending to end the match. Beats him clean, which how it should have been. Notice how that second uh, turnbuckle did not, didn't falter at the weight of both of those men. But Finn Balor, it just fell apart at the weight of his demon presence, but not at the weight of two of those men, the, the second turnbuckle didn't break apart but that's neither here nor there but it was a good way to set up as biggie as a legitimate champion that can hold his own doesn't matter who wants to fight him where they want to fight him as biggie holding it down show's about to end and then all of a sudden you see drew mcintyre his music hits you see him at the top of the ramp he has this nice sword and he points at biggie he's like i want you next uh, I want to shout out the title. And I have mixed feelings about that. One, I don't want to see him in a title, main event, title opportunity since we've seen it so many times last year. Well, I mean, so many times this year. Um, I get why he would want a title opportunity because, you know, the stipulation with Bobby Lashley, as long as he was champ, he would never have a WWE title opportunity. Now that Bobby Lashley's not champ, Big E's champ, he wants a WWE title opportunity. The reason why I say it's mixed, because I don't 
really feel like he deserves in a storyline since that opportunity to just jump in front of everybody else and get a WWE championship match. But at the same time, I do think the match would be good between these two guys. And the only way I really would be like okay with this booking wise is if one or two these things, well, one must happen. Biggie must retain. He does not need to lose to Drew. If he loses to Drew, I would definitely be disappointed in WWE here. He needs to retain. If you're going to have Drew versus Big E, you want to build, build up Big E's title reign, have him beat Drew. And if that does happen, you could turn Drew heel. I think turning him heel may work in his favor because I don't think people are going to really cheer for him because they want Big E as champ right now. Big E's the flavor of the month. They want him as the champ. And I think it works better if he's a heel here because they're going to boo him anyway. I think the crowd fans are just still kind of not really wanting to see Drew like that, even though even though he hasn't really been on television for a little minute, they still don't really want to see him like that, especially in no title picture opportunity. So I think you turn Drew heel, but you still have Bobby Lashley. I mean, Bobby Lashley, a big E retain the title now i can see them doing a couple matches with each other i can see maybe the first match you know drew mcintyre is not able to get the job done and then he has to resort to heel like tactics to somewhat try to or he, he you know he gets upset and he resorts to heel tactics because he's frustrating he turns heel that way now i did see reports uh someone has sent it to me uh that supposedly Drew was supposed to be facing Roman Reigns this Friday for the draft for the Universal Championship. Now, those cards are subject to, uh, they always say subject to change um, when they're announcing it for like stadium, like arenas and stuff. So maybe this could be one of those things. I just, it doesn't make sense for him to have a title opportunity at Roman Reigns on Friday and then have another title opportunity for Big E. So maybe... Maybe that that flyer that someone sent to me, maybe they decided to go with this route. I'm not sure. I honestly think he needs to be on SmackDown just for a change of scenery. And they could actually have a feud with each other um, on SmackDown, uh, Roman and Drew. You know, I think that would be a, a lot. That would be a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. But I do like the fact that they are trying to give someone strong for Big E to face. And Drew McIntyre is not a bad opponent. So I'm not sure which way they're going to go here, to be honest with you. But if they do go the route of having Drew McIntyre stay on Raw and face Big E for the title, cool, just have Big E retain. That's all I really care about. And maybe change Drew McIntyre's uh, um, persona to a heel. I think that would be better. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed Raw. Did you guys enjoy uh, the match between Big E and Bobby Lashley? Are you guys excited to potentially have the Hurt Business back together once again? And do you guys think Drew um, should be facing Big E so soon, being back into the main title picture? Or would you guys prefer him to go to SmackDown and be in a main event title picture for the Universal Championship against Roman Reigns. I would like to get your thoughts and opinions on all these questions I just uh, uh, presented to you guys. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.